Hello guys, it's another episode of H Talks Comics, Films and Combat Sports. So basically, Anthony Yard and Sergei Kovalev has just been ordered. That fight will be on June the 29th, 2019. First off, Kovalev, everyone knows he's going to be favourite for this. Um, I don't make him out to be the biggest favourite, as some others have kind of suggested. Um, his favourite, about for me, 60-40. And the reason why he's a massive favourite is basically because he's beat the Hopkins, the Pascals, the Alvarez's, that was close, and the Ward. No, he lost the Ward. But the Pascals, the Hopkins, and the Alvarez's, um, also Isaac Chilemba. Whereas Anthony Ward, Anthony Yard, sorry, I always get them uh, the names Ward, Yard, and plus Ward, one of my favourites of all time. Sorry, Frosh. But um, yeah, Anthony Yard, he hasn't really fought many people, but literally in his last fight, he fought a guy called Travis. Reese, Travis Reese, and he's most known for being trained by Hassim Rahman, who beat Lennox Lewis in a close fight a long time ago, like 2001, 2002. Yeah, about 2001, 2002, it might have been even year 2000, but that's what he's known for. Travis Reese is not being a fight himself, but he's known for being trained under the tutelage of um, Hassim Rahman. So that's the kind of level that Anthony Yard is he facing. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. But it's not great. It's not the top level. Whereas Kovalev has demolished, um, I'm trying to think, he demolished John Pascal twice. First time was TK, TKO, round seven or round eight. Second time he retired him, I think round seven as well. Um, that was John Pascal. Oh, is it Chilemba? I can't remember what that finish was at. Was that UD or was that TKO? But he did well against Chilemba anyway. Um, lost against Ward, Andre Ward, but you could say he very well could have won maybe the first fight. Second fight, I think, Ward had it, but the first fight, maybe, most people would like to say Kovalev probably had it. He probably did, at least the draw, probably. So, uh, but there are two of his three losses. Um, Elida Alvarez, TK Odin, though, that's the thing people are forgetting. You're all forgetting this. Elida Alvarez, who is, wasn't a big name before that fight. He TKO'd him in round seven, and in the second fight, Alvarez got tired. Kovalev put a heat on, and it was a dominant UD. He probably only lost one, maybe two rounds. So based on that, people are going, "Oh yeah, Kovalev was going to smash Yard. He's going to completely dominate Anthony Yard." That's not the case. And I'll tell you why. Kovalev is thirty-six. Yard is twenty. Seven. That's a nine-year age difference, and I know some people in boxing think that's not a huge thing. But Klitschko and Joshua was close. Yeah, it was close, and obviously Klitschko um, started. Joshua had him on the ropes. But the thing about Anthony Yard is he hasn't. He's not coming against Klitschko. I love Klitschko. I mean, Klitschko is one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Underrated. Kovalev's good, but he ain't no Klitschko in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. I don't think he's got that same fitness. Like also, Klitschko did just lose to Fury. Um, before he fought Joshua and came back, and my guy Kovalev lost to Elida Alvarez. Got TKO'd. Don't forget that. He got TKO'd. He genuinely got battered up for a few rounds in that fight, and he got TKO'd. And that was by a guy like Elida Alvarez. I'm not saying Yard has got the same power or more power because we haven't really denoted it. We can't really see it because Yard basically fights average man. And if you're fighting an average man, it's not the same. It's like me. I've done MMA. BCFA part one, check my fight. But I've been in the past, trained for a while before injuries curtailed, curtailed me. But the thing is, if I, like, the guys I faced were amateurs in the pro level, yeah? So if I went through, let's say, I went through um, four of them, but let's say I went through like 20 of those guys and then I went on to take on uh, Conor McGregor, yeah? I'm not saying I've got any chance to beat him, but you wouldn't be able to tell my true potential and I'd be like, a huge, huge underdog. And I probably would lose 100% because of the little different levels. But imagine, you never know, because you haven't seen that guy to take someone up. Of that level, that makes sense. So if you've you've been fighting bums your whole life, maybe you're the level of a bum, or maybe you are an exceptional level. So then, when you fight someone like Alvarez, say Yard here, Yard actually goes to the same level. He matches him. He goes toe to toe with a superhero, if you will, if you will. But yeah, no, I personally, I actually give Yard a forty percent chance. Like everyone's saying like ten percent. Like I love this guy Addy um, on boxing talk with Addy, but he gives him ten percent. That's ridiculous. I know it's in Russia, and it's a different country, but at the end of the day, it's still in a boxing ring. And for me personally, I think Yard, he's got strength, stamina. Like I haven't seen him gas out in a fight yet. He's got good punch output. I think he's got a good decent chance. I know it's in Russia, but what are they gonna do? Rob him? Yeah, fair play. He might, he might lose his UD. He might lose majority decision. 
but I don't know if Kovalev's going to KO him. I'll be, surpri I'll be highly surprised. For me, Kovalev on points is the way to go. See, I'll give him a 60% chance. Kovalev on points, most likely. Um, decent fight. I think it'll be a good fight, but do not be surprised. If Yard goes in there looking to take his head off, TKO, left hook, little uppercut, maybe a little body shot. Yeah, I don't know. I think people are sleeping on Anthony Yard. That's because of Tunde. Like, everyone hates you, Tunde, which is fair enough. Tunde's got a big mouth. But I think he's done, up, done that on purpose. He's took the pressure off a bit like Jason Mourinho used to do with Chelsea, Real Madrid, Man United. Do you know what I mean? He talks rubbish just so you hate him, so you don't hate the players. Same thing. How many people actually hate Anthony Yard? How many people seem to go against Anthony Yard? Not many. They go against Tunde because Tunde's a cocky guy and so on and so all this stuff. But Anthony Yard is no Andre Ward. Andre Ward is exquisite when it comes to a realm of boxing. Let's, let's just get that straight. He's Shao Kahn and Anthony Yard is Reptile or Katana in Mortal Kombat reference. So no, let's just not even say that. So Tunde, that's just out of the box. But that being said, I give Yard a good chance, man. 40% chance. He can KO Kovalev. We'll see what happens. It's been your boy, H Talks, um, comics, films and combat sports. Cheers.